Hi, I'm Justin from Wagon Tech, and today we're going to take a look at some of the most common questions asked about power inverters, like what are the uses, what type of inverter do I need, what are the differences between inverters, and which one is right for me. So let's dive right into it. First, let's take a look at what a power inverter is. It takes DC current, which is the battery power from your car, and turns it into AC current, which is like what you find in the wall outlet of your house. Power inverters come in two main categories. Your standard plug and play models, which you simply plug into the 12 volt DC accessory outlet of your car, and the hardwired model. These ones require you to run a positive and a negative power cable to your vehicle's battery. So you may ask, what kind of appliances can you use with a power inverter? They can be used with anything that runs off of AC power, from a blender to a curling iron, to a cooktop, to a crane even. They can be used for a myriad of things. We have police departments, fire departments, ambulance crews, and even civil services that use our power inverters daily across the world. So you may be asking yourself, well, that's great. All these other people use power inverters, but what would I use a power inverter for? You could use it for your laptop, your camera and camcorder charger, a drone charger, a DVD player. Even when you're camping, you can have a straight iron, you can have a hair dryer, or anything else you need. Even CPAP machines for people that require those. A pure sine wave, also known as a normal sine, or just plain sine, is a smooth sine wave as seen on the screen. In the simplest of explanations, it is the cleanest and best type of sine wave due to its smooth oscillation waveform. Pure sine is the type of sine wave that comes from the AC or the wall outlet in your house, and it allows all electronic devices to operate smooth, clean, and efficiently. Modified sine wave, also known as a square or a modified simulated MSW, is a manufactured type of sine wave that is less expensive to produce. It's able to operate with most electronic devices, and it's affordable and adaptable alternative to the pure sine wave inverter. Now let's get technical. A pure sine wave, or a PSW, is the best because the voltage rises and falls smoothly and changes polarity instantly when the voltage crosses the zero volt line. This does not cause excessive heat buildup or add stress to electronic devices, as it is smooth and consistent change. On the other hand, modified sine wave, or MSW, is more like a light switch with abrupt voltage rises and falls as seen in the waveform with long periods of rest at zero volts. This abrupt change causes some devices to simply not work, create electrical noise, also overheat, and can cause failure in sensitive electronic devices. So what does that mean for you? Ideally, the pure sine wave is the best solution for your power needs as it allows all electronic devices to operate as intended the downside of the PSW inverter is the cost to manufacture it. The price can be two to four times the amount of a modified sine wave inverter. Modified sine wave inverters are inexpensive to produce and provide the same amount of power in watts as the PSW inverters do. Unfortunately, the square sine wave produced is not compatible with some sensitive electronic devices such as rheostats or dimmer switches, variable speed controls, heaters, CFL and HID lights, some power tool battery chargers, and other devices. So you're probably asking, what is my best choice? Well, if you are in need of an inverter that's going to power sensitive electronics, buy a pure sine wave inverter. You can't go wrong with that choice. On the other hand, if you need a temporary power solution while tailgating, camping, on a road trip, just to power your laptop, a modified sine wave inverter is a smart and affordable choice. Here's the takeaway. A modified sine wave inverter sounds scary, right? In reality, the MSW inverters are not scary, dangerous, etc. They just need to be used appropriately. I have used a modified sine wave inverter for most of my life during camping and road trips, RVing and the like, and have never experienced any problems with them. MSW inverters are perfect for 90% of applications for the average user. You must realize their limitations and use them accordingly. Want to err on the side of caution? Buy a pure sine wave inverter and you cannot go wrong. Okay, so now you have a basic understanding of what a modified and pure sine wave is. Now you're probably asking yourself, so what inverter do I need? You need to take a look at the wattage requirements of your appliance in order to answer that question. Most devices will have the wattage or amperage requirements posted on the device itself. It may say 75 watts or five amps. If your device doesn't list the wattage, here's how you can calculate it. Take the volts times the amps 
and that equals watts. Let's take a look at this camera battery charger, for example. On the back, let's say it says 120 volts at 0.5 amps. So you take the 120 times the 0.5 and you get 60 watts. Another thing you don't want to neglect is the amount of appliances you're going to run at one time. Just because your lamp requires 60 watts doesn't mean you shouldn't include the other devices in the calculation. So if you're running two devices at the same time, make sure you calculate both of those devices wattages up in order to make sure you get the correct power inverter. For example, you have a laptop that's 60 watts and let's say you have a portable DVD player that's 40 watts. You'll add those two wattages up 60 and 40 and you'll come up with 100 watts. So now you've calculated the 100 watts. That sounds good, but it may not be the ideal inverter for your needs. You'll be taxing the inverter if you get a 100 watt inverter and put a 100 watt load on it. So that's why we suggest a 20% buffer. So what you would do is take your 100 watts, add 20% to it and come up with 120 watts. That would be a better fitting inverter for your needs. Lastly, let's talk about peak surge. You may have heard of it before and been wondering what it means. What it is, is when a high wattage device starts up, it draws an insane amount of power for usually less than one half of a second. That's called the peak surge of the device. Some devices can surge up to three times the amount of its running wattage. This is something you need to take a look at when selecting an appropriate inverter for your needs. Let's talk about true rated power. Whenever you see a rating on our inverters, you can rest assured they are tested at full load and will sustain that continuous load for 24 hours. Our competitors claim continuous wattage when in fact most are only rated at 20 minutes of that continuous wattage. After 20 minutes, their output wattage will drop down by as much as 25%, which in a 400 watt inverter, that could be a 100 watt loss. True rated means that the wattage we print on our inverters is the actual output that you can get from it. 24 hours guaranteed. Proline inverters feature a lightweight aluminum case with an attractive black finish. On the rear of the device, there's a heavy duty positive terminal, negative terminal, ground terminal, and a high speed cooling fan. The 3000 and 5000 watt models feature three AC outlets capable of 1500 watts each, whereas the 8000 and 10,000 watt models have four AC outlets. All models feature a high output terminal capable of delivering the full capacity of the inverter. Also included is a power switch, overload and over temperature lights, battery voltmeter, battery amp meter, and a remote port for the power switch. On the bottom of the ProLine inverters, you'll find four pre-drilled mounting holes to ensure a solid mount for your inverter. 